Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Mats, the CEO of Grunt, and I'm happy to have this public demo here today. I'll just give people a few minutes or one minute to, to join before we start. As I said in the introduction, welcome to this public demo. I'm uh, Mats, the CEO of Grunt, and I'm happy to be here today as your host for our new webinar series, which is a public demo where we will showcase what Grunt can do for you as PowerPoint professionals. So today's agenda is I'll give a brief introduction to Grunt, who we are and what we can do for you. Then we will dive into a specific demo of what Grunt can do in PowerPoint. And finally, we will open up for a Q&A session at the end. So if you have any questions, please ask questions in the chat so that we can tailor the content to you. And we will have plenty of time at the end to answer all of your questions. Grunt is a PowerPoint plugin for professionals. And what we do is that we help you enhance your workflow so that you can improve on three important areas. First and foremost, you should be able to do things more efficiently to speed up your work. That's crucial, of course, to avoid spending time on insignificant, insignificant details. Secondly, we help you enhance the quality of your slides in PowerPoint, enhance visualizations, ensure that data is always correct, and that your formatting is correct. And third, and to me most importantly, we enable new and better workflows so that you can spend your time where it matters, where you can have the most impact, because the core or the key part of a presentation is always to create impact for your clients or your audience. Grunt was established in 2015, and we have been founded by a core team of ex-consultants, people working in finance, or big corporations. We are PowerPoint professionals at heart, and we try to make great tools for people like ourselves that really enjoy PowerPoint, but that want better tooling. So as a quick summary of who we are, we are industry experts. We are data visualization leaders. We try to push the envelope on what kind of visualization you can make efficiently in PowerPoint. We're also automation spe specialists. We want you to be efficient and enable the computers to do as much as the work for you as possible. And I'm happy to say, or I'm confident in saying that there are few people that are more into PowerPoint and Office than our team of great developers and, and other people in the firm. So we really know our way around PowerPoint and we, we are eager to share this knowledge with you all. We have large trusted clients from all around the world, big consultancies, investment banks, and other players in the financial sectors, and also a lot of corporations. So um, before we get started, I want to talk slightly about who this uh, public demo is for. Um, and on a scale from a new or novice user to a really advanced user, this demo is primarily tailored towards new or novice users. That doesn't mean that you will not get any benefit from it if you're an intermediate or advanced user. Uh, but please use the chat, as I mentioned, and ask your questions so that we can tailor the content to what you would like to see. Now, let me get started and talk about what Grunt is and what it can do for you. Grunt is a PowerPoint plugin, meaning that you will get a new functionality built into PowerPoint when you install Grunt. We have our own ribbon where you get access to the most used tools and functionalities. 
And in today's demo, I'll mainly focus on the Visual Grid, which is a proprietary tool that we have developed here at Runt. It's basically smart tables and also charts and data connections. We might touch into the other topics as well, but this is where we'll spend most of the time. So let's start with charts. I hope that many of you use charts in PowerPoint today. Um, and charts are crucial to add visual flair and better insight to your presentations. And one of the key problems with the native charts in PowerPoint is that they might be cumbersome to use. They're not that, that good at adapting to your brand guidelines. And it's quite difficult to add insights to your charts to highlight what the key message of the chart is. This is where you will see that you get a great benefit from using a plugin such as Grunt. We also have a key capability in our industry leading data connection between Excel and PowerPoint, which means that we can enable you to more streamlined fetch data from Excel to PowerPoint and update your charts consistently and quickly whenever you need to. And this is really important to improve your workflow. So let me show you a quick demo of what the charts um, that you can make with Grunt can do. I'll jump into native PowerPoint and I go to the Grunt, Grunt tab to insert a chart. Grunt has all the most common business charts available for you. Cluster charts, waterfall charts, um, combined charts, bubble charts, pie charts, and dome charts. I will insert a simple stack chart for now, and I can click and drag on the slide in order to insert a chart. This demo is not meant as a training session where you learn everything that need, you need to know to navigate Grunt, but I want to showcase what you can do quickly and efficiently. When you insert a chart, you will see that you get a data editor. This data is embedded into my PowerPoint file, but I can obviously also link this data to Excel. More about that later. In the data editor, I can update my data, and you see that the charts changes accordingly. Clicking on the charts give me access to the main menu in, in Grunt, where you can do things like toggle on and off the labels of your charts with these buttons. Um, and you can also uh, change the basic settings, font size, font family for charts. By default, Grunt will read the color information from your PowerPoint file, meaning that you get brand guidelines uh, out of the box. But you can also click on specific series and get access to, to ways to override the colors, for instance, changing the color of a single series. Let me undo that and also show that if I were to open, let's say, a different color profile, you will see that my chart changes accordingly. And this is also the same effect you will see if you open a presentation in, for instance, a client format, Grunt will automatically adapt to the colors of that template. That is quite um, important to know in order to be able to, um, to, to quickly work with uh, different color schemes. Let me just undo to get back to my previous state. One of the most important things with charts is to adding insight to your charts. And this is where a plugin like Grunt really shines, like I mentioned. So what you can do is to add things like value jumps or level differences to showcase what kind of data you have in your chart. If I insert a value jump, this is a way to automatically calculate uh, the difference from one segment to another. I can click and adjust where my calculations should go. I can also change this to show a percentage value instead of an absolute value. It's really easy to do these kind of changes. I could also insert a different kind of visualization. This is called a level difference. It's great for highlighting differences between uh, segments, and I can move these arrows in line to really emphasize what kind of growth I want to, to display. 
if I had a different kind of data, let's say a time series data with years on my axis and perhaps even a fifth year going in here, I can also showcase the Kager functionality, which is frequently used within PowerPoint. Without a plugin like Runt, what you need to do is to insert arrows and shapes into a slide, automatically calculate the values, and keep them up to date manually. With Grunt, you can insert a Kager. I can choose where I want the Kager to, to be drawn. And I can also introduce multiple Kagers at the same time. If I want to show different deviations within within my chart, like this. I can adjust axis simply by clicking on them and dragging to adjust tick mark spacing or maximum values of the axis. So basically, it's really easy uh, to do the adjustments of the charts that you want, which means that you can spend your time more wisely on other topics. Finally, if I scale down my, my chart, what you will see is that Grunt is consistently making beautiful and high quality visualizations in your PowerPoint presentation. Let's move to the next topic, which is the visual grid. And creating something like this in PowerPoint takes a lot of time. It's also really, frequently used and a really common topic to want to cre create such an assessment slide. And this is one of the main reasons why we started Grunt back in the days. The problem with a uh, native way of doing this is that you need to go to Google and search for flags, insert them into your presentations, make sure that you align and size everything correctly. And maintaining this, for instance, changing the columns or inserting a new row with new data becomes extremely cumbersome. So with Grunt, recreating a slide like this becomes really, really simple. So let me go back to design mode. And I have some data in Excel that I can copy and paste in order to get my data into my PowerPoint file. By default, the data comes in without any formatting. But if I want to, I can go into the data connection settings and also import style from Excel. So just by copying and pasting data, I can get a data link between Excel and PowerPoint to my table uh, and get the style added as well. For now, I want to do the formatting in PowerPoint. So I'll turn off the style import. I'm not going to spend time now on training you into how you work with Grunt, but what you can do is to make simple formatting changes to your virtual table, where you can add, for instance, a bold uh, formatting to your header and a border beneath the header. And now I want to insert some flags. Normally, I would go to Google, search for flags, copy them to my computer, insert them into my presentation and spend quite a lot of time on alignment and sizing. The beautiful thing with a visual grid in Grunt is that you can convert your data directly into graphics. So in this case, I can convert all the, uh, all the names of the countries into the flags. And behind my flags, I still have the data that, com that comes from Excel. And this is really a dynamic. So if I later go in and change when the country name to different, for instance, Brazil, you'll see that the Brazilian flags appears. It's a really nice way to work with the data. If I want to insert some icons, I can select um, insert an icon visualization into my uh, table. And I can go in and adjust the conditions. So Whenever I have no written in my cell, I can change this to become, for instance, across. 
with a gray color. And you see that all my crosses becomes this gray icon. And I didn't have to drag all the icons to the right place. So the quality is guaranteed. And if I later figure out that I want to change the icon, I can do that. And I don't have to do the tedious job of replacing all the icons. I can basically change the icon type and all the icons will update automatically. And if I want to add a brand color here for the yes icon, I can do that in the breeze. The same way I can add hardware balls. Simply applying your visualization, changing the color, and I'm, uh, I'm done. So with Grunt, you don't have to spend a lot of time on creating these visualizations in a chart. And now the most challenging part, to insert a chart into my table. Normally, I would have to insert a chart with a native chart, adjust it across the table, and make it uh, align perfectly with all my rows. In Grunt, I can insert a chart directly into my table. Let's just move this dialog over. Choose to add uh, labels to my chart. And now the, the chart, the horribles, and the icons are visually tied to each row. Meaning that if I take one row, for instance, Sweden, and move it down, I can simply drag and drop it where it belongs, and all the icons and flags and charts will stay connected, which is a brilliant way to work. If I want to enhance the chart to make it more prominent, I can simply increase the size of this column, and everything will fit, adjust to fit accordingly. And finally, if I want to update my data, I can go back to Excel, make some changes. Let's say that this German row has increased in market cap. I'd save my Excel workbook, go back to PowerPoint, and I get a notification that I have new data available. I can update my data, and you can see that the new value is now present in my chart uh, within my table. And I can consistently know that I have the right data. I don't have to copy paste the new data from, from Excel. And with Grunt, you can actually go into the data connections menu and get an overview of all the Excel workbooks you're connected to, all the charts and tables that are made from those connections, and whether you have the most recent data or you need to do updates. And if you want to update the presentation, even if it's hundreds of slides, you can do so with a single click in this button. It enhances your workflow and enables a lot of great opportunities. So hopefully you can see that the visual grid uh, is a great workhorse to do a lot of different tasks. And even though I showed a few kinds of visualizations here right now, you can make a lot of different visualizations, traffic lights, indicators, images, even logos can be added directly to your table um, from in this visual grid system. Finally, with Grunt, you also have access to a lot of time-saving efficiency tools. These are tools that should have been built into PowerPoint, but they aren't today, such as swap position of two shapes or making sh shapes the same size. So this is something you get access to with Grunt out of the box. And to give you a quick demo, you can do things like selecting objects and one click distributing and aligning them with Grunt. And this is also great if you have a layout like this where you want to align something, perhaps make, make the spacing between them consistent. You can do that with a single click of your mouse instead of having to adjust things manually and separately. So if any of this is interesting, and if you aren't a Grunt user for now, uh, book a private demo uh, with one of our sales reps, and they can teach you everything you need to know to get started and answer all of your questions. Also, we will keep posting or hosting these public demos every week. There will be a new host, a new topic, 
and a new deep dive. So I recommend that you tune in to future, future shows. Uh, and the next one will be next Wednesday, the same time, uh, June 7th. So with that, we are uh, open for questions. Um, and going into the chat, I can see a few, few questions already. And please uh, post more if you want me to ask or to answer any other questions. So one of the questions is whether I can colorize the charts in my tables uh, based on the values in a smart way. Um, and that is possible. So let me go back to this uh, table. So with this chart, if I want to add some colorization to the, to the table, I can add that on top of the table, just like conditional formatting basically in, in Excel. So two different ways of doing this. I could either add a continuous fill to this uh, chart where I can select the minimum color to be red, the maximum color to be green. And you can see that I get an interpolation of these colors with yellow somewhere in the middle here. The other way to do this is if I have a threshold value. Let's say that I want to emphasize the the, the companies with a market cap of more than 200 in this case. I could add uh, specific colorization, remove the normal conditions and add a condition where I say, well, if the market cap is greater than or equals to 200, I want a specific color, let's say green. And now you can see all the values that go above 200, they turn green. And this is live. So if some of my data changes, the data it will change, the chart it will change to the correct length and the formatting will be applied. So this is a great way to add conditional formatting to your charts. Next question, um, does Grunt have a timeline tool? Yes, it does. And I haven't shown this due to time right now, but in the Grunt menu, you can insert a Gantt chart. Uh, this is probably something we'll go through in a separate uh, mm -hmm. session later. But the Gantt chart is basically a really quick way to insert timelines where you can add processes or milestones uh, to your uh, timelines. And obviously, you can adjust uh, which duration you want to show in the timelines. So if you're the person who creates a lot of timelines, I will definitely recommend using a tool like the Grunt Gantt chart tool. There is a question regarding the logos I mentioned, if you can add a company logo to Grunt's database. And just to explain what I'm going to talk about, let me insert a simple visual grid with just a single cell. And here I can add a company name, like IKEA. With Grunt, I can actually go and retrieve the logo of IKEA directly from Grunt's proprietary logo search database. And this will search for logos uh, on the web. And then we crawl and, and store these logos locally. Um, if you get the wrong logo, uh, you can also click uh, on the logo to choose a variant of the logo. For instance, I want a black and white version of this one. Um, and in some cases, you might not find the correct logo in this variant database. In that case, it is possible to adjust and add your own logos uh, as PNG files uh, from your computer. So if you download a specific logo that you, you use consistently, you can go into the Grunt menu, uh, into the Settings options. And in the Preferences area, there is something called Logo Sources. By default, you will only see Cloud. But here, you can uh, click the plus icon and add a path to a folder on your machine where you have PNG files. And if you then uh, type in the name of the, uh, of the file, it will actually be, be used here when you use the logo search. So that's a good way to add um, 
add a logo to the database if we don't find the logo by default using the default search. Next uh, question, if I can show some few features related with the waterfall charts. Um, and indeed, I can do that. And the waterfall chart is a great way to, to display um, data that changes from uh, one period to the next, for instance. Uh, so let me insert a waterfall chart. Um, one thing to notice is that even though the default data here only shows one series, uh, what you can do is actually to add multiple series to your waterfall chart, which you cannot do in the native PowerPoint charts. Uh, so that's a big, uh, big advantage. Um, we also have a quick way to add a summarization of the waterfall by using the S, the capital S. Uh, and here you can see that the capital S, which is this total, will automatically calculate the sum of all the prior values. If you use lowercase s, you can actually create a split sum where this s will summarize all these series values and this s will summarize all these series values. So that's one good thing. Other than that, what you can do is to add, um, uh, add these highlights like I showed in the normal charts. They obviously work in the waterfall chart as well. Um, and one thing that's quite common in waterfall charts is to automatically colorize um, values depending on whether they are positive or negative. And that's something you can do. But instead of me showing it, I recommend that you go to the settings tab, uh, sorry, the help and support uh, option in, in Grunt and go to the video training database. Uh, if you open that one up, uh, I need to drag this over to my screen. You will see some video tutorials, um, and you can find these from our uh, menu on our website as well. And here you have a dedicated video to Waterfall Basics, and I will recommend that you watch those to get more uh, information. Um, next uh, question. Um, is it possible to highlight uh, interdependencies between two or more faces or tasks in a Gantt chart? Um, and if I understand the question correctly, uh, you might have two different faces like these two. Uh, and sometimes you want to showcase that they are dependent on each other. Perhaps this one has to start after the first one is finished. Right now, there is no automatic way of showcasing that dependency in the run tool, uh, but this is something we have on our roadmap to, to, to do. Um, what we normally do right now is to recommend that you line things up so that they start one after each other. And you can also uh, add this to the same lane so you don't need separate lanes for uh, the different processes. So that could be one way. but. We are looking into ways to connecting these so that you can move them together and, and showcase that interdependencies. Um, let's see if there are more questions uh, showing up. I think I covered everything I uh, have seen right here in the chat. Um, there is one question regarding if I can add the presenter's name uh, to a table. Um, and I'm not sure I understand that question, to be honest. So if you want to get a response, I would need to have a different or more detailed uh, question. Um, it looks like we're running out of questions. So I think for now, I'm going to say thank you for joining. Remember next week's uh, webinar at the same time next week. You can use the same link as well. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out either to sales or support at Grunt.pro to get your, your questions answered. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon.